<laughs> Rip those Siamese twins apart with your bare hands with a bit of a mess. Are we live, Matt? Yeah, I think so. Episode number 30 of the Muddy and Michael Fully Actual Podcast. And we've got 10 episodes left. We've got a banger episode in store for you. All right, we've got uh, Matt gets a new chair, Lying the Lockie, Bachelor Brown returns, Prank Hall, all the other shit. Uh, and it's pretty crazy, man. We got fucking. What have we been doing, boys? Eh? You sound tired. Are you yeah. fly like? Well, maybe explain that. Yeah. Well, look, we've um we've had a really big week. We've pretty much filmed nine videos in in like three and a half days. And then, as you know, we've been talking about it a lot. We went alien hunting for a night near Stanthorpe. All right. And man, we got real silly and kind of burnt all of like, like one of our air mattresses and destroyed the other you burnt everything yeah, you destroyed everything i brought we went a bit crazy okay it's exciting at the time yeah we vlogged it all and there's a cut we got some we're just constantly filming and fucking with each other the whole time crack and milk boys were there for a while and yeah it was it was a rough night we, we hadn't slept much to begin oh. with the night before right because it's been a big busy week and then we get down there and you know we're fucking around having a good time and then come nightfall we uh michael michael was meant to buy some blankets the day before for us because we didn't want a repeat of um the last time we went camping at one of our friends place where we were freezing our asses off so michael's like don't worry i'll get us some pillows and some blankets we'll be heaps warm and we get there and then the the air mattresses don't work and we're like oh well at least we got like blankets you just sort of wrap it around us and then we'll have like a cocoon we'll be okay and then michael takes the blankets out that he's bought and they're fucking they're sheets <laughs> they look like curtains yeah they look like very thin it's like a <laughs> thickness of a sheet i nearly. thought they were a different style blanket with the wool stuff on the inside but yeah but they weren't and, um, and I bought some throwovers which were just useless I found with the throwover if you put it over your face you could breathe into it and it would create like a heater for your face I think yeah, you can die from my that my body was the cold part my yeah. face I don't really mind that much about mm. anyway um, sorry about that then we also destroyed Matt's tent and his sleeping bag and my during toiletries filming. <laughs> everything I bought except for <laughs> The clothes that I had was destroyed. <laughs> and um, yeah, you laugh about it now, but living it was a horror, so, horror nightmare. So Matt had to come into our tent with me, Michael, and Lockie. And so we're all sleeping on the hard ground. And we've all got, at least Lockie and Matt had um, actual blankets, but me and Michael are just trying not to die. We should have fucking snuggled up with them. I don't but know I why tried we to, didn't. I tried to go in the van to sleep because I just couldn't sleep and it was so cold. But the van is just, yeah, I'm just constantly constricted. And then yeah. the seats are too narrow. It's like, make the seats a bit fucking wider in cars. Yeah, well, the seats aren't good for tall people. God, it sucked. And so Matt's snoring like a man, like a fucking monster the entire and, time. And it made it worse because... You couldn't sleep on your side because the ground, we had no mattresses. So the ground was like poking into us. So I slept on my back, which is the worst part for us. Do you I snore, snore normally? I snore a little bit. Yeah. But if I'm on my back, it's going to be mayhem. Plus we were- You over. were on your side. He was snoring in every direction. Doesn't matter. <laughs> he, was, he, was, he was sitting up with his eyes wide open, looking at me smiling and he was still snoring. <laughs> yeah, I, well, I can sleep through snoring, but I reckon I, I had earplugs like, and I was still like was struggling to get to sleep, and well, so yeah. it was a cold, super uncomfortable night. And man, but we we you know we got a fucking we vlogged a lot, and we got we we fucking fucked with each other because a lot. So there will be some content coming out about that and the alien hunting. You'll just have to wait and see how successful that was. Yeah, well, that'll be on the website. Hundred percent. Not, Not to get too excited, but there was some explosions. Yeah, fucking oath there was. <laughs> fucking oath there was. The, we had a huge campfire. I spent like $250 on fire starters. Really? Yeah, dude. Oh, man, it was good. And they just put <laughs> them all for, in. Good for 10 minutes. It was minutes. good for like that first 30 <laughs> seconds was so exciting. Wasn't Marty's it? idea is making yeah, a fire and really put everything in, in. In the same one go, put everything uh, in and just light it. And then I had a couple of bags set aside to maintain the fire. But yeah, it was fucking... The camp trip was good, but yeah, now I'm sick as fuck from the stress and the uncomfortability <laughs> and the cold. So our energy yeah, levels cold. are a bit down. It's a Friday today. We never film on Fridays. 
But there is a benefit to filming on a Friday. Oh, we Lachlan does not know. Lockie d- has no idea. Lockie came on this camping trip with us and <laughs> he has no idea that we're filming the podcast today. And it's like mid, it's like 1 p.m. right now. So if we call him, he'll be like, oh, hey, he won't be expecting it at all. To be the bearer of bad news, I do remember when we're driving back, he said out loud, let's film the podcast tomorrow. And he heard. Well, I sent him a message before. Uh, I was like, oh, hey, man, we, we got to give you a bit of a preface before we explain this. So the Cracker Milk boys came with us. They were there for maybe like, well, they stayed for a while, but um, one of the boys was just feeling really shit. And so, sick. and and it was getting real cold and they're like, fuck, because it's hard to try and be funny and to, because they were going to film a video as well. It's hard to try and be funny and to like, and they've like, they do a lot of like sketch comedy and stuff. So it's hard to act and try and be funny. So they're like, fuck, we're going to have to go because one can't just leave because we, they, we carpool. So if one wants to leave, then the others had to leave. And unfortunately they had to leave. But so I messaged Lockie today and I was like, dude, I just found out the real reason Cracker Milk left. It's fucked. And then he's like, oh, fuck, what was it? So the lying to Lockie will be us get, telling him a lie about the real reason Cracker Milk left the camping trip early. That's exciting. Yeah, it is exciting. It's it's a great lead into... It's something to do with animals because we've got a new pet here at Marty and Michael now. What have we called the pet? Oh, you said it the other day. Did I? Yeah, it was fucking... Branket. 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 No. Branket. I think it's Branket. And it's a bird. It's a magpie. And yeah, we've got a little cage. Oh, oh, and when we came home from fucking camping too, Julian fucking pranked the shit out of us. Oh. Holy crap. He had pretty much... James had left him the house key. And so we came home and Julian had like hidden all of the TVs and laptops. Like like he wrote... And he went through like... It left all the drawers open and shit. It'll be out by now. the time it's this is no no this no, that won't be out for a okay. few weeks but um yeah he made it look like he robbed a place yeah and man yeah it, we fully were convinced oh fuck anyway that's that video is coming out soon brown too. swore yeah palm beach came out of me heavy yeah brown, <laughs> brown went to rage in your brown town yeah. the tvs are gone fuck <laughs> and of course we didn't believe him he's like We've been robbed And we're like Shut up man You fucking fuckwit Shut the fuck up Matt And then we all Go walking in And they're like Oh fuck We have been robbed It was very very I didn't enjoy it Anyway That's uh, That's been our week And so Please excuse our Low energy levels um, so let's fucking we, we some things are time sensitive here. So why don't I quickly let why don't we light a locky first? Oh, do you oh, want to do the Bachelor Brown first? Yeah, I do. Hopefully, we're well, hopefully she called uh, that answers. All right, all right. Look, we're gonna do the Bachelor Brown first. <clears throat> What's her name? Stacy. It's mom. Oh shit! Should we do the? Got it. Bachelor Brown, 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 Brown. Bachelor Brown. He's right behind you. He's right behind you. Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. So this is a segment where Michael and I have taken it upon ourselves to find Matt a life partner, a girlfriend, a wife. Someone he can share a family with. Because Matt sucks at it. He's like in his early 40s and he's still single and he doesn't know how to find the right woman. And he just goes for the wrong things. So we're going to find one for you, Brown. And we've organized another phone date with a beautiful, beautiful young lady named Stacy. Do you know Connor kept saying you're half 70? Yeah, yeah. And then just changed that to 70. (laughs) Your top five are (coughs) Isla, Greg... Jess from the UK, Jasmine, and Ethan. All right, so we could potentially have a new top five here, Matt. Did Ethan not win a big prize recently? Oh yeah, Ethan. Oh, yeah, congratulations, that Ethan. That same Ethan, we worked it oh, out. Sorry, Bosley. He's, he's won one of our uh, <coughs> premium members giveaways. And if you want to join, the, we do monthly giveaways. We sign up to our, pr- our website and become a premium member and then you're en- automatically entered into all our monthly giveaways. And it just so happens our podcast listener won as well. Anyway. Here we go. Let's have a chat to Stacy. Oh, this is so annoying. Uh, hello. Oh my God! Please, oh, oh, oh. is Stacey. this Stacy? Do we have Stacy? This is. Oh, Stacy! Thank God you answered. We thought maybe we'd uh, called too late. You are on the Marty and Michael Fully Actual Podcast, which is one of the biggest podcasters in the entire world. And sitting right next to us, we have a very eligible bachelor, Mr. Matthew Gregory Brown, and he is desperate. 
stinkingly desperate for a female to have in his life. So, Stacey, we're going to let you guys have a chat, see if there's a bit of chemistry, a bit of a spark, and see if maybe you guys could be a potential couple in the future. What do you think about that, Stacey Wacy? I think that's a great idea. I've been waiting all day uh-huh. to talk to Brown. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. That's so good. All right, Brown. Now, remember, Brown, you got to carry the conversation here. Don't let there be any awkward silences and ask interesting questions. You can do this, Matt. Oh, over to you, Maddie. Yawn, yawn and put yawn, your arm yeah, around Yeah, it. pretend you don't care. Uh, uh, Come on, say something. Hey, Stacey, how are you? I'm good. How are you? Um, good. I'm a little bit nervous. I haven't uh, done Bachelor Brown properly for a couple of weeks, so I've forgotten how to speak. Be confident, dickhead. Sorry. That's okay. We'll ease into it. Oh, Where are you? Are you, at, are you at work at the moment? Easing. I'm not. I was just about to go back shortly. Ah, so you've taken a break to come on and do this. A break for Brown. A, a Brown break. <laughs> you guys come on fight. matt come on um uh what made you come on here oh my god that Boring. is so That's shit the- pretend you are you are you a boob man or an ass man oh. oh i like both but i'm i guess i'd go for an ass man if i had to pick between the two oh. Would you consider yourself an ass or a butt girl, Stacey? Definitely an ass girl. That's oh, good. that's good. Matt that's good loves then. That. Matt loves that. Yeah, because the boobs can be big or small. It doesn't bother me. Yeah. Really. Ooh, what about one big and one small? <laughs> that's even better. Or what about no breasts at all, Brown? Yeah, that's good. Oh, okay. Mm. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, so whereabouts in? Uh, where are you from? I'm from New Zealand. Nice. <laughs> Big sheep. Whereabouts are you? Whereabouts in New Zealand? Are you from Gisborne? Christchurch. Christchurch. Oh, oh no! Nice. That she was when the shaking was at there. She was That's shaking. Where the shaking was. Remember? Yeah, we know. <laughs> Fuck it. Um, so New Zealand. So, would you actually come to Australia? I would. Yeah. I mean, I mean, if this all goes well. Oh, 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 oh. So ask her how old she is, Matt. How old are you? I'm 29. Ask her what she does for a living. Oh, that's a good age. What do you do for a living? I'm a chef. You're a what, sorry? A chef. So a chef. I can oh, okay. Oh, Brown oh, loves Brown food. Eats like an oh, eatery. No, 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 no. What would you cook for the Brown after he comes home from a hard day sexually assaulting people? A good steak. You gotta have to oh, cook yeah. that right. You love steak. You had steak the other day. Yeah. You had steak, mate. Yeah, a good steak is nice. nice. Piece of, I fill it. Um, <laughs> he's licking his lips and rubbing his tummy in a circular motion. <laughs> um, <laughs> Stacey, is it nerve wracking coming on this when you hear those two in the background? Like, are you a little bit nervous from that? God. No, not at all. I've been waiting all day to talk to you, so. Oh, oh, Brown. oh Brown. 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 Compliment oh, Brown. her. Say something nice Say, about yeah, her. F- grab. 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 Go for a grab. Grab? grab. Yeah, try. Grab. It. Oh, 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 so inappropriate. We're joking. Sorry, Stacey. He's just gone for a, like, a grab. He's gone for a grab. Too bad it's not here. Yeah, too bad you're in New Zealand. Oh, wow. <laughs> Would you go over there, Brown? Yeah, I've never been to New Zealand, so I'd love to go. Well, how, let's book it right now. If we well, book well, it look, right now. Stacey, look, Matt's got a top five. Um, if, if this goes well, the rest of this conversation, you can make the top five and we will happily pay for your flights and accommodation to come all the way to Australia and you can stay with Matt Brown at his house um, for, for a while if you want. That sounds amazing. I was listening to the last podcast and apparently you have a pool. Yep. Yeah, we've got a pool. We've got five we got, bedrooms. We've got football uh, con- sticks outside. Yep, we've got some rugby posts. So if you're a big All Blacks fan, you can practice your drop kicks. So who are we dropping? Are we dropping Greg or Ethan? No, nah, I'm not changing the list yet because uh, there's a second part to this. We've got to communicate afterwards and that's how you become top five. <laughs> 
All well, right. all right. Well, look. What about a poem or something? Tell her a poem. Yeah, Shut yeah. Up. You've always you always no. gone on about your poems. No. Fucking rattling off no, your poems on, on our road trip yesterday. Or a little rap battle thing. No. Do a rap battle against each other. Rhyme three words for her. No. S- no. Oh, that's what pretty a- good. And now what? Try nose. Maybe no with a K. No with a K. And then nose. Nose. Oh yeah, that's pretty <laughs> good. Fucking hell, bro. Brown <laughs> No, 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 nose. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> what do you think? Sorry, Stacy. That was a bit. We Stacy, a bit would you like to rhyme three back for Brown? Oh, I think I might be able to. If someone can give me a word. All right, let's go, cat. Cat. I have a nice cat. You can take your hat off when you look. At it. <laughs> hey, I like that. She's far better than you are at that, that Matthew Brown. That was she's good. far better than she's you very are. Very good. She's much better than you are at that. All right, Stacey. Well, thank you so much. Um, do you have Matt Brown on Instagram yet? I don't have Instagram. Okay. Well, what's um maybe if I just give him your phone number? Oh, sorry. I'll text you Matt's number. That's probably no, easiest. Don't give people my number. Mm. No, uh, yeah, I, I, Instagram's. <laughs> You might have to make oh. an Instagram. What about Snapchat? Matt Brown uses Snapchat so that there's no history of all his predatory behavior. Oh, that's perfect. You, have, along well, then. you have Snapchat? Oh, okay. I do. Yes! All right. Well, Matt, what's your Snap Snapchat handle? Announce it for everyone to see so everyone can send you pictures of things. Oh, I don't know. No, no, come on. It's what smart. is it? It's smart. It's good business, man. I don't even like the name of it. Yeah, good. What is it? It can't be any worse than your fucking shit Instagram. <laughs> Matt Brown, one, 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 one. Um, it is uh, Matt Brown Fool. Fool? Fool. Uh, F O O L. Fool. 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 You're saying fool. Matt Brown Fool. 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 Like, like pool. Yeah. Fool. See. So say it. Fool. <laughs> <laughs> all right so matt brown fool f all one word brown yeah all right would you be able to do us a favor and add him on snapchat um what's your what's your snapchat we'll bleep this part out though don't worry we don't want our um army of um legends sending you pictures trust me but oh he's sweating a bit there's a light glaze on him he started now. started to oh. cut himself oh yeah he's really upping the ante he's swollen now Stop. he's swollen <laughs> he's engorged no, with I'm blood. no Stop. Anyway, Stacey, maybe add, each, add him on to Snapchat and get talking, and we hope it goes so well for you guys. Thank you so much for coming on, Stacey. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. It was nice talking to you, Daddy Brown. Oh! 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 It was good to meet you too, Stacey. Oh! oh! I feel like Brown. Look at him, the way he's drinking his energy That's a drink. confident energy oh, drink he's slip. full of frothy sperm now. <laughs> oh! Stop! <laughs> Like anyway, anyway Stacy, thanks for coming on. We'll chat to you later, okay? Thanks, see you. Thank Bye. you, Stacy. Bye. Oh that oh sounds God. like a potential have down the line, baby. Mm. <laughs> so, what is it? State uh, cut her actual Snapchat <laughs> name too. I remember it already. You remember? Yeah. Should we fucking members. fucking no, no, can get no. rid of one of the boys? No. And you want to keep the boys? Ethan is a good bloke and Greg is great. Right, would you actually are you actually gonna talk to her? If she sends me something, I'll chat to her. Yes, she will send you. No, why mm. don't you why don't you Men are meant to do everything first? Why don't you make contact, Brown? Oh, maybe I will. Yeah, thank you. Cause you know, she's an ass girl. You think and she's you're gonna an open guy. the door for you? Maybe. Oh, okay. Sorry. Anyway, that is Bachelor Brown, everyone. And we will find Matt Brown a wife and we shan't rest until we do, cunt. Matt Brown, fool. Actual. If you want to add Matt Brown on Snapchat, Matt Brown, fool. No, no, don't go there. I'm more and active And send on Matt Instagram. Brown really close-up pictures of your asshole or no, testicles. No, just his favorite. send it to my Instagram. Asshole or testicles. Matt Brown, fool. <laughs> All right, guys. So what James was just talking about, as you know, it's episode 30. Every 10 episodes, Matt Brown gets a brand new chair. It's a very big deal. So, some Wait, of so our, it's come from overseas. So some of our lovely fans, they had a great idea and they sent us no. the new chair. So this is the letter that came with it. And the package that they sent was inspected by Biosecurity Australia. So the Australian government saw what is in this package. All right. So, dear Marty, dear Michael, dear shit. And that's you, I'm assuming. We hope you're all doing good and we really hope that our package made it 
the long way from Switzerland to your podcast for the 30th episode. Switzerland? Yes. We want to give you something back, and so we sent one gift for each of you three. A is for Marty, B is for Michael, and C is for Matt. The sweets are for all of you. <laughs> sweets. Thanks, boys. You're the fucking best. Now have fun, cunts, and enjoy your package for as long as you can. Matt, you can enjoy yours even for 10 episodes or more. Best or regards, more. Roman and Patrick. Roman and Patrick, thank you very much, boys. Fucking thank you. great idea. Legends, true, fully, actual ringworms. I might call my son Roman. No. Roman Brown. As we speak German, here's a hidden message for Marty in German. Hallo Martin, du kleiner Schwein. Bitte sorge dafür, dass Matthias den Stuhl auch wirklich für zehn Episoden benutzt. Sag Arnold Fein einen lieben Grüß von uns. Fucking hell. <laughs> What the fuck was that? I heard Matthias, so they mentioned me. I'm not going to tell you guys what that was, okay. but thank you, boys. Oh, I'll do my best. I'll do my very best. Oh, all right? oh, oh, oh. Like, no, if you're gonna make secret fun of me, fucking... if you're gonna make fun of me like that, it's not a secret language. <laughs> <laughs> fucking racist! <laughs> All right, let's have a look. Let's have a look. So hey, the Australia- James, sorry, James. So, th- could you please bring my pure water that's on the kitchen bench? I'm really thirsty. Oh, sorry. This is beautiful. What is so that? I've just opened my gift it's from, a beaker. from Roman. <clears throat> oh. And um, Patrick, is it? Roman and Patrick, yeah. I've opened my gift from Roman and Patrick, and it's a, uh, 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 what do you call this? A beaker, right? It's a beaker, a science beaker. It's a fart beaker. A fart art beaker. Oh my God. So you can collect your farts and lock them in. So the Australian government would have seen this and known that there's a fart in here. Oh my God, dude. Is there a fart in there? There I I think so, man. I'm going to have to have a smell. in this one. I don't even want to open it. I can't. Come on, M- Michael. It's fucking scary. Michael, don't oh, be this rude. This isn't good. Oh. Don't be rude, Michael. Uh, do you want to sniff that? Then I'll open this. All right. All right. I am Thank going you, to sniff the oh, jar this isn't good. of fart now. Oh, this isn't good. Oh, I'm not happy with what this is. Do you know what it is? <coughs> yeah. Yours over and done with. Just wait. All right, Michael. Can you please smell this? Because I'm no. sick. No. And I, I, do- oh, I don't want to smell a fart. What Michael, are you talking on, about? Get this brown. what you do, Michael. You love fart. Oh, fine. <laughs> does it? That fully smells like fart. Oh my god, it does! <laughs> a fart from Switzerland. We, we did have, it. We have sh- we have shit from Switzerland oh, in our lungs. It. I think I can smell it. No. Oh. Boys, we literally smell your shit right now. I feel oh. so close to you. Oh, I feel Swiss so fart. close to you. A oh. Swiss fart. Oh. We are saving that jar, and I'm gonna fucking use that for fart. Why are you sculling water like that? Oh, you're gonna fucking dip it on me then. <laughs> oh, uh, that's so the, good. This right. is uh, the next one's not on either. What do you mean not on? That was perfect. No, this is not happening. Come on, Brown. Don't be I'm weird. Sorry. I'm scared it's on the Just outside. Just hurry up and open it. Oh yeah, geez, that does. Yeah, look. the glass is safe. Just pull. Yeah, just pull it out. Yeah, I'm scared it's on the outside too. I don't know how clean these people are. Well, very, clearly very clean, judging by their scent. Oh my god, is what that real corn and shit? I don't oh know. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> this, <laughs> so in Michael's gift, we have a another beaker, a circular beaker, with shit like human shit and corn in it. Can a you corn it clearly? Can you hold, bring it up to the camera, please, Brown? Oh, or James? James? Boz, stay there. Just stay there. Can you show that to the camera, please, James? A nice, yeah, a nice close up for the people to see. Yeah, that's it. So that is corn and shit. And our Australian government opened that package and inspected it. We have a letter saying that they did. They probably wouldn't believe that that's that. <laughs> How did they oh. get this shit in there? There's shit all around the <clears throat> lid, too, Brown. <laughs> James is washing his hands Thank you very much boys No no just put it down Brown God It's being weird Alright Michael will oh, You can't even put it down Michael will treasure that For all of life Yeah thank you mate I'm gonna go wash Look, my hands Matt is, uh, James is the chair ready Alright Matt Matt Go and wait outside Go and wait outside <laughs> Out that door Fuck don't peek in, cunt. You get out there and wait. 
<laughs> this is your fourth chair we're giving you to keep. Get out! <laughs> Fucking get out! Cunt! Pink cunt! Fucking Matt, open the door and fuck off! Hurry up! Swiss chocolates, okay. All right, he's he's outside now. All right, okay, everyone. So the new chair. All right, James, you can bring it in. The new chair. What's it called again, James? Oh <laughs> so the boys God. from Switzerland have sent a milking stool, which is basically a one-legged chair. Okay, it's a it's a chair with one leg in the middle that you can tie around your waist, and basically whenever you need to sit down. <laughs> Holy fuck, that looks cool. So whenever you need to sit down, you just sit down and the one leg will just automatically support your ass, okay? <laughs> so it's a milking stool. All right, they've sent through a milking chair fun sheet as well. This is the same boys, all right? The milking stool is a stool used for milking in the stanchion barn. The typical milking stool consists of a single, often spring-loaded stand and a round seat plate. Since both hands are needed during milking and the milker often moves from cow to cow, the milking stool can usually be strapped on with a harness. It is usually made of wood. In some areas, a four-legged stool was used as a milking stool. With the introduction of the milking parlor, milking stools became obsolete. How to use. Dear Matt, there are three ways to use this milking stool. Choose according to your preference. <laughs> okay. Some of these pictures. James, can you show this picture? to the um to the camera all right so this wraps around brown's waist and then he just sits down on it <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna fucking hate this <laughs> all right um do you want to test it out for a second michael let's stand up see if we can test it on you first <laughs> you gotta, like, Mike, michael is testing it and it <laughs> It sucks. <laughs> it's, it's just—it's like a bit of a workout. That's perfect for Brown. That's perfect yeah. for Brown. Stand up, cunt. <laughs> Connor, get this here, Connor. Look at that. That is just so fucking good. Stand side on there. All right. So that's the Brown seat for the for the last ten episodes. All right. Let's um. Let's just sit it there. We'll sit it down, and we'll just invite him in. And then we'll fasten it to him. All right, here we go. <laughs> oh, yeah. There's no chair. And then there's that. Okay, all right, we've hidden the stool. All right, we're going to invite Matt Brown back in now. Matt! Get in! Fuck! Hurry up, man. Hurry up, Brown! All right, now, before you, re before you say yes or no... Right. What do you mean before I say yes or no? We want you to try it, okay? Just fucking try it. Yeah, it's not. I did it, and I was fine. Look Shut at me. Shut up, Michael. You're not. You're not in that one. That's my camera there. You got to sit down, oh, clearly. What do you mean? All right. Three, two, one. Yeah. See, that's not gonna work. <laughs> <laughs> Just grab it. All right, we're going to show you how to use it, okay? It looks confusing, doesn't it? This is a Swiss milking stool. Do you understand what that is? You don't understand what that you is. No, like that. wrong way around, Brown Town. All right, let's help him get it on. Uh, Matt, come back. Come back, Matt. Brown, Brown. Just try it, Brown. Just try it before you decide, Brown. Oh, he's all fly like Lily Meshnek, Lily. Come here, Brown. Brown. This isn't gonna work. Willy Wonka's from there. Right. He's got to commit. I'll guide you down. Can you just I'll guide you down, okay? Alright, <laughs> 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 oh, this isn't too bad. <laughs> oh wow. Oh no, I feel like it's just gonna go if yeah. I don't. You really gotta make sure you balance. <laughs> yeah, I've gotta. <laughs> <laughs> oh, these people actually use it. Yeah, dude. Yeah, it's a full real thing. It's a real milk stool. That's made in so Switzerland. Stupid. That's a stupid thing. That doesn't like the milking stool. <laughs> what a dumb idea. Thank you very much, boys. And that is Matt Brown's new chair. Oh. Yeah, well done. Oh.
<laughs> oh, fuck me. Very good. All right, let's move on, man. That's great work. That's great work, everyone. Very good. All right. I feel like I'm getting a bad posture. <laughs> yeah, well, you, you got the ergonomics chair for after hours. So you got you got so many chairs now, can't I am taken care of you. <laughs> All right, guys. On to the lying to Lockie oh, segment, yes. where we lie to Lockie every... F- <laughs> My brown's fallen. My brown has fallen. Milking stool. Milking stool has fallen for brown. <laughs> <laughs> Brown had a tumble. Brown had a tumble downtown. <laughs> what happened then? Oh, I broke. It fucking broke. The string broke. So the chair no, works. Still, the I don't need the string. Oh, it hurts so much. <laughs> anyway, while Matt's rubbing his wounds, <laughs> we're going to do lying to Lockie. <laughs> Oh my god. I don't know, is it gonna work without the string? I can make this fucking fucking Swiss. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, that's not fun. Alright, guys. Lying to Lucky, where we lie to Lucky every week, like we mentioned at the start. Alright. Oh, by the way. Oh, we'll quickly do the fucking sponsors and shit now, actually. Oh <sighs> fuck. <sighs> Oh, um, by the way, guys, we're running a comment competition um, where we pick one comment at random out of all of the comments on the Marty Michael Fully Actual YouTube <coughs> channel at the end of the season. So the more times you comment, the more chances you have of winning. It's a statistical fact. My bum hurts. Matt's ass hurts, all right? So if you comment a thousand times, you've increased your chance of winning by a thousand times. And the winner will get a thousand dollars transferred to them on the season finale. All right, so comment as much as you can because it's literally helping you live. Mm, it's money. It's free money, bro. All you got to do is comment. And comment whatever you want. It could be the comment could be of the wins could just be a fucking full stop because we're picking oh. it at random. Anyway, the sponsors. <sighs> Are you sick of being less? <clears throat> Are you tired of looking at yourself in the mirror and wondering where it all went wrong? Yes. Are you a dumb, stupid, bitch, dopey, fuck-off prick whose dumb shit fuckness has fucked their life and everyone around them, fucking cunt? <laughs> well, fuck you, fuckwits. Manscaped.com have all the answers to your fucking needs, you stupid, bald pig. Fuck you to the moon, because... Uh, hang on. You just stole Isaac. Uh, Isaac quite a fun. Fun. You know what? Leave it. <laughs> yeah, no, at least we recognize that. <laughs> Fuck you. Go to manscaped.com and use our discount code fully actual 20. Do you understand? Fully actual 20, you get 20% off everything that they have there. And trust me, you need it. Mm. It doesn't need you. Manscaped will live on without your fucking buying shit. They will live on. You. Are so fucking shit, it won't affect anything except you. So go to them and help them fix you. Cunt. Fuck. Manscaped. They got heaps of shit. Heaps of shit there, right? And women too. Women can go too, cunt. And they have women there. They no. have women working for them. Having them? It's important to mention. No, Matt. No. So women and men, everyone, go to manscaped.com, use our discount code FULLYACTUAL20. The body and wash and underwear are my favorite. Stop your life spiraling out of control, you fucking piece of shit. Worthless scum cunt. Fuck. It's reactive. Anyway, Manscaped. And our other sponsor, of course, is the University of Markle, which is our subscription website, universityofmarkle.com where we post weekly videos, including the upcoming alien vlog that we just filmed. And where, what's come out right now? We got the, um, uh, oh yeah, the What Was That Bunnings edition will be out right now for you to look at. And that's where Michael and I blindfold ourselves and smash each other with Bunnings bought only from, with items bought from Bunnings. 
and then we have to guess what it was and there's a punishment for a loser at the end they're half an hour episodes they're weekly it's fucked up shit we would never be able to post to social media holy fuck just have a look you'll never see content like this anywhere there's a 21 day free trial go fucking prove me wrong watch fucking 10 of our videos and tell me where you can find shit like that it's nowhere you will never see anything like it again cunt so 21 day free trial links in the description have a look at the videos if you don't like it you can leave free of charge so there's no risk to just having a look and 21 days of just free viewing there's no risk to that man if you can't afford it you can leave the free trial man it's free is that the problem i don't know something's up though yeah, yeah something's up with your chair is it comfy Stool. i'm starting to get used to it pretty quick but <laughs> I did take a tumble and I, f I have a fear of that's going to happen more. Yes, it did look it painful happen. when you, I saw your face it crunch up. Well, like it, no, it went, it went that way and I tried to correct and it went that way. Never correct. There you go. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, sign up. Yeah, sign up now. And that's our sponsors. Oh. You guys hot? Yeah. Mm. Boiling. Should we have a... Oh. We'll be back with on this day and the diaries and shit. I look like Julian Woods. <laughs>
Anyway, well, yeah, well, thanks for that. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> no worries, Zed. Yeah, we'll chat to you next week, cunt. Yeah, mate, bye. <laughs> bye. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay, well, yeah. Bye. Anyway, back to Bob. So I thought like, he was going to not pick it. I thought he was just like, oh, that's like. I felt he was I coming. Yeah, but I, no, yeah, he got I, yeah, I felt like he was. Uh, he's getting better. Yeah, he's yeah. getting 50 50 on every conversation now. Yeah. He's working it out. Yeah, it's going to be harder and harder. We still got, look, we still got 10 episodes of, of lying to him. I'm starting to think maybe we switch friends. Oh, we'll yeah. Probably, next well, I reckon, next season, oh, we've got to switch it to someone is, else. Gregging with Greg. Greg or like even we just find other Lockies to lie to. And then yeah, people okay. start sending in their friend Lockies numbers and we just start lying to them. Yeah, okay. Yeah. We'll have Sorry. to brainstorm that one. Yeah. <laughs> all right, uh, do you guys want to have a quick bong yeah, break, yeah, a proper so, one? Right. I just had one. Yeah, all right. Flatter. I got to I gotta finish off the bong break. We'll be right back with On This Day in the Diaries. Sorry. Oh, oh, Brown is trying. <laughs> <laughs> Milking stool two, Brown zero. <laughs> if, you're not, if you're not concentrating, you go over. That's why we've got it. Because we want you concentrating more, more, more. <laughs> <laughs> Bring the action. Oh. All right, ready? guys. On this day. You ready? <laughs> On this day in 1774, tables were invented. Before that, cunts would just stand around while eating. Mr. Kevin Table invented the table. Tables are still used to this day. And I stand up with victims of bullying. I, Matt Brown, will now stand up before you and pledge my allegiance to your lives. Bullying ends today. Stand with me, boys. This means a lot to me. I do get bullied a lot by these two. And every time I stand, that's just going to fall now. I probably can't see our heads. Good cause, Matt Brown. It's a great cause. I like how you've sort of started including your personal strong beliefs in behind the On This Days. I loved all the tables you said. Yeah, the tables was a fun fact. Then, you know, some a serious, good, strong message. Appreciate that, Brown. Thank you. Thank you, Matt Brown. Seriously. Hocklockled. 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 We're in our 30s. We're well into our 30s. Oh, fuck. We are. I, was, I was outside before and I'm like, I'm 35 years old and I'm waiting for my friends to bring a chair in. 35 years old. Come on. Come on. Oh, wow. It's okay. Can, Can you say what age? it was again? Ockle? Ockle. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god so we get to the podcast today this and, is an accident and, and it's my fault and, and like i was like oh matt where okay where's your black book and i don't know i still don't know if he's done it intentionally or not but matt has left his black book at home and it sucks because it's like exciting because matt was about to return to earth as you know and just continue with his um random halves but um you you promise you'll bring it next week, man? Yeah, I just you've put it. You make. I've set an alarm to remind you to put it in your bag as soon as you get home, yeah. and bring it because honestly, yeah, it's kind of sad that people have to now miss out because of your unorganizedness. You know, it's kind of gross and fuck you for that. All right, fuck you for that, cunt. Say sorry. And on behalf of everyone, sorry. Fuck you, you fucking fuck forgetful fuck cunt. <laughs> <laughs> that's from everyone okay oh that's all right then <laughs> oh the spit anyway uh this is a diary that i found uh, of myself and again no chronological order they're just random <clears throat> mm. <sighs> here we go and diary entry number 145768 <laughs> what's funny <laughs> oh, here we fucking go. I haven't even started reading. So I don't really get why you're laughing. <laughs> all, right, all, right. all right. Sorry, sorry about that. Sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry to all our German listeners. 
Today I woke up shivering. I already had both of my shirts on and was still cold. I asked mum for some more clothes or a blanket <laughs> and she gave me a ball of string. <laughs> I wrapped the string around myself and went back to bed. It was a pretty good day. <laughs> what happens like it's still happening? <laughs> you got shit blankets Like sheets the other day Yeah it sort of relates <laughs> it, took him, it took him back to his childhood <laughs> You were German at camping Yeah, wieder zurück zu Deutschland für mich <laughs> Did you ever go camping with your family In Australia? <laughs> they, don't, they don't do oh. that Germans don't go out into the wilderness cunt <laughs> oh, That's why you yeah. were all German that night Yeah Alright let's move right fucking along to Moo um, The comment of the week Where Matt Brown has selected A comment from last week's episode That he deems so good That we're going to print it out And stick it on the comment of the week board And then if you make that board You are in the running to win another thousand dollars So this is separate to the thousand dollar Random comment competition Do you understand that? Go on Brown Who we got? Alright All right. Um I already I read this to you once. I think Michael said it though. Um, a comment of the, the week went to Morgan Power Fish. Um, pets for the new house. A cow for Marty, a cow for James. Rats for Michael, a baby alpaca for Julian and a baby whale for Matt. <laughs> a baby whale. You wouldn't ever go to work. Oh, I'd just live here. We have talked about maybe getting a shark for the pool. <laughs> it's quite deep like a flathead shark it's a little little one yeah and then when it gets big enough we just um toss it into the brisbane it to river the neighbors oh yeah or to the river yeah a goat yeah we're thinking a goat um what about a water buffalo i'm scared like what if it like storms and shit what we do what do we do with it i don't know I, you got to take care of it and feed yeah, it don't we have stuff? to build it a house and shit yeah i think so you gotta have a goat shed it's too much responsibility yeah well these enough I like having the horses nearby because we don't have to take care of them. We can go over, say hello, maybe film something, and then well, they're leave. trying to buy it. Just you. Yeah, maybe I'm too erratic in my approach. Yeah, they can sense it. Yeah. It's crazy, man. Anyway, that um, is the comment of the week. So that is the comment so of the week. So, Mr. Mrs. Powerfish, you're in the running to win a thousand dollars at the end of the season. So that's pretty incredible, Morgan. <laughs> that's really incredible how uh, generous that is. Man, I'm fucked. Hey. I, I'm starting to wonder. Just if, one fucking thing. Yeah. It's what the fuck, man? It's because why? I, mean, I don't know. I'm just like dizzy. All right, guys. Now it is time for questions. Which is where we answer questions that you guys have commented on the Muddy Mocker Fully Actual YouTube channel. We pick the most liked questions first. So if we don't answer your question this week, keep commenting it and hopefully we will get likes and we'll answer it. All right. So fucking have a scroll through all the questions and like the ones you want us to answer as well, man. Here we go. Get ready, Michael. People want to know. All right. Here we go. People, People want to know. know who you <gasps> where, where you come, come from. from. That was. Um, they school all, cry Yeah school cry Why is that Holy the school shit. cry For all of them Yeah I just I don't know Every school seemed to have Had that as a war cry Yeah And it yeah. fucking Really fired me yeah. up too So oh, we oh. tell them No what's a German one Excuse me <laughs> Do you like the same song Ach du Mittenfeuille Ach du Hickenfahr Ach du Mittenthalle Fuckel schnitten Fackenton Blitzkrieg Oh whoa. Is that real Yeah Wow Okay thank you all right, first, oh, wait, no, we need top question, don't we? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, highest like question went to Joey Evans. <laughs> and funnily enough. Look at Matt's head. Hey, come on, come on, come on, Sorry. let's work. And we always, we talk about this every week. Okay, as soon Sorry. as you guys get to questions, shit just goes out the window. <laughs> more, more, more. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we need some concentration. <laughs> this is a hard question too. And it's been, a few people have been asking it and, and I'm aware of that, but it's never got ho like highest question. So it's going to, today's, today's the day we solve it. Joey Evans <laughs> wrote, uh, Marty, Michael, Brown, Julian, and James. So all five of us. Mm. Human centipede scenario. Pick the order you go with. Mm. What do you mean? Like around us or like- Do you know what a human centipede is? Yes. Yeah, so when yeah. they sew each other so to get asshole to mouth. Yeah. Like. Who goes in what position? Well, I think it'd be different for all of us. But for my ideal, it'd be- Just you two answer the question. It'd be me at the very front. 
and then James attached to my ass, or even maybe Michael, this would be funny. <laughs> I'd eat all sorts of funny things. <laughs> <laughs> and um and then um yeah, so it'd be me, um Michael, and then um for the benefit of the group I put James in the middle because he's, he's the more organic. He's the healthiest, most organic. So he's like the filter of oh, mine. So we and might Michael. survive. Yeah. And then um <sighs> And then, well, if look, the first person just eats corn, then you're going to be okay. And then everyone eats corn. Survive. You've proved that. I, well, I, it depends what the first person eats. I'd have my diet have to be really clean. So maybe James at the very front. Yeah. Well, if we all want to survive. Yeah. If James takes the front, it'll be easy. We just yeah. gallop together. Yeah. As it's one like it's, his shit is just like compressed hay. Yeah. How many cool videos could we make where we're all you know sewn Nine. up together? Nine. Hmm. Nine of them. So it'd be James at the front and, and the rest really doesn't matter, does it? If your mouth is so to an asshole, You put yourself up there though. I'd go you, second. You I'd go second. I'd be sucking James's asshole because his asshole's the cleanest. I might yeah. take the back because I reckon by the time he gets down, it's just not going to be much coming. I reckon Julian will die. He, he'll refuse to swallow. Yeah, and you'll have a corpse attached to yeah. your mouth. And then I just, yeah, I'll just hang on And then the you corpse. suck as he decomposes. You suck his yeah, nutrients and eventually, into yeah, oh, yeah. It's, it's, like, like, it's like a tube emptying. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, have you seen it? Have you seen the movie? No, yeah. I haven't. It is fucked. <laughs> Actually, it was really great. I was it watching sounds it. sounds like one of our videos. I was watching it with a friend of mine named Simon Suzuki and he's half Japanese. And the, the guy that's in the centipede is Japanese and we're sitting there watching it and he starts screaming out in Japanese, I'm shitting, I'm shitting. And at that moment, oh, Simon re recognized, he goes, oh, he's Japanese. <laughs> <laughs> at the moment he was just shitting into the chick's mouth. Oh, anyway, it's pretty sorry, racist, bro. but all right, we'll leave it in. All right. Um, <laughs> next question is from Jay Bradshaw. Oh, come on. Um, I was watching some old YouTube episodes and I want to know, is that the younger brown town I see in how to stop your friend from eating fast food? Um, the one where you eat the cigarettes in the burger. Yeah, you were there, right? Yeah, so he's spotted me in that. He yeah. wants to know if it was yeah, me. Yeah, that was brown. Yeah, that was me. I'm also, I'm in there twice, I think. So that's probably the first time I ever appeared in something. That was yeah, yours. that brown town in video with us. I had some hair. Oh yeah, but it was slowly oh, leaving right. me. Oh, you got nice frock hair now. <laughs> yeah, it looks good now. <laughs> I'm very Julian Woods today. <laughs> I'm enjoying it. <laughs> anyway, what was the question? All right, next question is from Fanny Larue. Time. Have you found a way to speed up recovering from bruises? No, I haven't. I had the, yeah the biggest. How is that? Let's have a look. I haven't looked at it for a long time. Can you fucking zoom in on that, Connor? That's so, Lala, like, dude. It's that's like so 10 big. days. It's like 10 days old now. All right. That bruise there. I, f I feel like they get bigger and last longer the older we get. Yeah. Well, that was a massive hit. I can't wait to show you guys that. That's do painkillers really work? Julian's edited that now. So oh. We're, we're like seven weeks ahead in content, by the way. So, videos we talk about now, they might be like six weeks away from posting. Just so you know, all right. But yeah, but, um, big bruises. I, I guess maybe we should like put ice or something, eh? Yeah, what are you meant to do? Comment. Yeah, can you guys let us know what you're meant to fucking do? Oh, actually, you're meant to take aspirin. Oh, to thin your blood? Yeah. Who see, said that? Uh, Amber's mum. Really? To, and that lowers bruises? Yep. Oh, well, that's what, we're do that's what we do. But like, I'm pretty sure aspirin's not good to have all the time either. Yeah, you can't have too much of that shit. Otherwise, it'll it's hurt always like a, it's, it's, it's like a blood. It also blood. It hurts your kidneys. You can have it once every well. now and then. No. You gotta hurt, hurt your kidneys. There's people who take baby aspirin every day. Do you get a buzz off aspirin? No, no. You can overdose on it though. If you if you take yeah, too your much, blood's too thin. Your body goes into a certain state where osmosis and it can't come back. Goes into osmosis. Where really? It, yeah. Wow. Goes into osmosis. <laughs> <laughs> I, can't, I can't see the I can't see the fucking stick, so it looks like he's just levitating. I am levitating, you fuckwit. <laughs> That's perfect, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you. There's going to be some spills there. Oh, oh there's going to be some. I've, I've nearly fallen twice and I have fallen once. All I have to do is just push his knee and he'll fall. No, oh, don't. I don't. I'm scared which way I'll go. Right. <laughs> yes. Next question is from Kusuni. Kusuni? 
Kasuni? <laughs> Kasun. <laughs> it's depending where they're from. Racist. All right. How is Michael feeling about the bear incident? Oh, yeah. He's referring yeah, to our latest talk about it. Eh? One of our website videos where Michael is aggressively s- sexually attacked by a bear. <laughs> in which bathroom object hurts the most? Yeah. Is this moldy to you? Ooh. <laughs> Just check and see if it's moldy. Yeah, dude. I would oh, give me a look that. at that. Oh, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. It's all good. Fucking pigs. You break everything. <laughs> a Swedish boy has also sent some chocolates. So we're just inspecting. This is actually really nice if that's not mold. Guys, how does it feel to have got into a position where you can employ your mates? That's what we've always wanted. We even said starting out, we're like, wherever we can help our friends and family, we will. And like... You know, what's better than hanging out and working with your mates all day? I'll tell you what, fucking nothing, cunt. <laughs> it's so what, fun. What are you doing on the weekend, cunt? You go and hang out with your mates. Yeah, well, guess what? We get paid for that. Sort of. Not really. We still have to do work a lot. So, like, James is out there right now editing the poor cunt. Yeah. He's not in here fucking getting amongst it, cunt. I can get in amongst and ruffling, ruffling Brown's feathers, brother. <laughs> we could be out driving the fucking van around the street. You can't fucking doing days on fucking school fucking ovals. You fucking dumb bitch, can't fucking chuck your handbrake on, can't get up to eighty k's now and fucking chuck a hard right. You dumb pig, can't. <laughs> yeah. Fuck me, cunt (laughs) So yeah (laughs) Yeah, yeah, that's what we could be doing (laughs) We should go and do that tonight (laughs) We're going to have a boys day tomorrow Have we told that? Oh, we're getting yeah. all that, the house is set up, so we're getting all our close friends over to just have a bit of a fucking, bit of a shindy. Nothing crazy. Next question is from Jono, bro. Uh, Marty and Michael, what was your best and, oh, let's go with, what was your worst Uber driving trip experience? Why didn't you want to go best? Well, because nobody wants to hear the best one. It's boring. Yeah, that's so true, Brown. What was the worst Uber driving trip you had when you were driving as a driver i didn't have like one that stands out there are a couple that sucked though there's a i remember always past like 1 a.m is when the car the passengers became weird well yeah just unpredictable yeah it, there's fucking the girl like you pick up girls right at like 3 3 a.m and they'd be hammer drunk they very very clearly drunk and so you know i'd say to them as the trip begins oh like hey how you going and that you could just tell they could barely fucking talk to you and i'd always say to them oh you know just let me know if you start feeling sick because I'll like I'll I'll pull over just because if you vomit in the car now I can't really Uber for the rest of the night, and then they be like, yeah no I'm fine I'm fine almost like offended that you're saying that, and then you keep going they're completely silent in the back and then you'd know they're in trouble when you hear them crack the window a bit. Window comes down just a little bit mm-hmm. so they can have some fresh air and then I'd repeat it I'd be like just yeah just let me know if you need to vomit. And then without fucking saying, yeah, no, I'm fine, I'm fine, <laughs> I'm fine. <laughs> and then fucking 10 minutes later, vomit all through the fucking car and you have to drag them out because they're so beyond fucked. And then you can't Uber for the rest of the night because no one wants to sit in an Uber that smells like vomit. Happened three times. So that sucks. Yeah, I had three as well. If you need to vomit, just let the cab driver know. Let the person driving know. So at least they have a chance to pull over. They don't be too embarrassed to try and hide it because then it's 10 times worse when you do throw up and you will cunt. Clang, clang. What was your worst? Yeah, you had far more than I did. Vomiting. It's, well, it ruins the night. It's so rude and condescending. racist. Condescending. Yeah, the condescending dogs can get like, think you're like a piece of shit because you're, you're an Uber driver and like they would go... So what do you do? I'm like, oh, you know, trying to be a YouTuber and they just fucking scoff at you and golly at the back of the seat. <laughs> Six gollies running down me fucking. And couples that are coming, get into the car and they're about to have, like they're in a like, oh, heavy man, argument. Don't pretend like you no, didn't that like was, that. No, yeah, that, that was so was, entertaining. And like the boyfriend's like, shut, shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Man, and you're I like, oh man, that. I'm going to have to fucking fight this dude because he's going to bash dude, his girlfriend. I love car. the arguments were so entertaining. I'd just be staring at the rear vision mirror with a massive smile on my face and just would not break contact with the rear vision mirror. Yeah. <laughs> and I'd be driving at 120 k's an hour down side streets. 
He's uh, the, the one that would you have eye contact with them the yeah, whole yeah. time for half an hour sometimes. <laughs> wouldn't look at the road. The one the one that was like threatening his girlfriend was like realized that I was like fuck you, and he's like starting on. So how's your night going, bro? Like just trying to be friends with me. Yeah. And this chick's like in tears in the back and he's like threatening her. Yeah, very interesting. And then, yeah, as soon as I got out of the car and she just stormed off and I was like, man, that, what a I fuck went it. back like yeah. three times over. A dude went to his girlfriend, then she called, then had to go back to his, then he, she called again, went back to hers. It was crazy. And then each time I went to the out, out the front of the house, she'd come out, they'd have this huge argument, then he'd get back in the car. Then oh, like, go wow. Back. And it was oh, this journey. So it was like a whole season in 3D. Dude, now you're dating her. <laughs> <laughs> Not at all. But fuck, it was crazy. Oh, It was... Man, Uber driving was so entertaining in somewhat ways. Yeah. Just like you didn't know what you were going to get. Oh, yeah. And it was always something different. Man, the amount of weed I smoked with people. Yeah, fucking... Yeah. Fucking crazy job that one. Remember one dude like came into the car and he's like, here, do you want a beer, dude? I'd always just accept it. It's only one yeah, beer. Yeah, people like, yeah, would give me So drinks. I'd just have a beer with them as well, like we're driving around. <laughs> people would get, take too <laughs> many drinks toilet. for travelers and they couldn't get rooms. Like, oh, here, bro, this is for you. They're like, yeah, <laughs> thanks. But yeah, they'd always be so like shocked if you're like, yeah, okay. You know, I've had a couple already. <laughs> one more. Remember the time, we've said this before, I think, but... <laughs> I was accepting trips and like yeah, well, they, they didn't drunk. see no yeah didn't they but didn't they call <laughs> yeah and then you're like yeah mate just finishing off a beer I'll be back there. I'll be right. down there soon that's right they're, they're like questioning over the phone like the passenger that Marty's just contacted via Uber and then they're like so are you meant to be driving <coughs> I was like yeah mate I've just got one more beer to go oh, we're at the casino and oh, he's just that was hammered ridiculous. Yeah, fucking oh, you're all, well, I think you're on MD or something. Yeah, he, well, yeah, he was. He's like, and I remember him turning. He's like, Marty, we got to, we got to do some, we got to do some work. <laughs> we need to make some money. Yeah. Oh, Uber was a journey. Fucking hell. Oh, very good. All right, three more. Um, all right, question for the podcast this is from Fly By Night. We all know him. Um, can you get Matt, Amber, and Monique to all react to the laxative Olympics site vid together? Fuck. Yeah, I know that would be so good, wouldn't it? Didn't you want to get would, me? To I, react look, to I'd videos? be. Look, I think I'd gotten. I've gone to a stage where I'm okay with Mon seeing it. <clears throat> I'm not even okay to see it. Would you watch it? Oh, uh, it'll be. Yeah, of course be you'd a good watch time it. To do. I don't know. I'm not into it. No, Matt. Come oh, on, fuck. Yeah, we, we. Yeah, we'll work up to the girlfriends slash fiancés. I'll do it if they do. Yeah, and then would maybe, you let maybe we'll start with Emma? Well, yeah, start, yeah. with, start with so, me. So Matt, Michael's not there so yet. Yeah, but you Brown, watch it. I reckon you, know, we, you watch it. We you watch it a video Brown. that your friends made. Maybe that's what we should do on the sleepover. I'll do it night. for you, but it's not going to be a good time. It'd be good if yeah. Well, yeah, maybe we can show Matt, and then we'll just show Mon and Amber together. Yeah, so we'll warm up with Brown. Yeah, Brown Town. All right, two questions. Um, I have an one's asking for advice, and one. Asking a question, which one do you want first? Give me the question, bitch. All right. The next question is from Ned Wardo. Ned Wardo? Ned Wardo. Depending on where he's from. Um, uh, imagine if you guys had a serious home invasion mid-podcast, would you still air it? Yeah, fucking 100%. Yeah, 100% we would definitely do that. Yeah, I'd try and film it as we were battling with swords. I'd just flip the cameras. Yeah, I'd just put the cameras in the corner and we all have a and rumble. And say, live, you're live. Yeah. We'll get them on. I'd get them on yeah. the podcast. Yeah, yeah. I'd, I'd we'd get have them on. to do an interview. Yeah. <laughs> and then they, they mid robbery have, interview. Then they can take the phones as long as they airdrop the footage to us. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, yeah, right. we would. Yeah, that's <laughs> good. Oh, we're gonna get robbed. Um, and the last question was from James Captain Kirk Patrick. Um, what would you say to someone starting doing videos or a podcast? What advice would you give them for somebody who's just starting out? that it's a long process don't have any expectations look some there are some people that do it fucking and immediately blow up but that's like one in a billion have it's, a, it's one in a womb power fish really uh, well, you got to have a point of difference these days because it's getting so competitive even with tiktok there's fucking people with followings popping up everywhere so you gotta have a point of difference you gotta love it don't even start unless you fucking love it 
And uh, don't stop. Consistency, bro. I can't mm. remember. I heard the average. It was it you guys that told me this? I'm not sure. The average podcast lasts 20 episodes and they give up. Really? Yeah. Uh, maybe Shit. Gary Vee well, said then, that. Yeah. I can't remember. It's probably like anything. If you start something and you want it to work, you got to just keep yeah. doing it. Yeah. Oh, it's do it for fun to begin with and just see what happens. Yeah. But podcast is because even Joe Rogan started for fun. Yeah. He started with like 10 people watching and they were doing it just to promote his stand up. And that's what it turned into. Mm. <laughs> but um, yeah. But for us, it was more of a one. We wanted to do it, but it was also just fun. And yeah, I don't know. Just, yeah. But then you guys brought your work ethic to it of doing it every week. And so that helped. Yeah. Well, if you we want it to it. work, you got to do it all the time. You can't ever stop. Ever. Most people forget about it. Sorry. 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 And that's questions. <laughs> we got deep we got deep went real deep <laughs> yeah oh <laughs> all right guys it's time for the prank call and is, that it? is there anything else you need to do oh that's it <laughs> 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 what the fuck, man? Oh, Come the on. poo jars has been Come thrown on. on. That's throwing a jar of shit in corners. You threw a jar of magpie at me. Oh, it makes me. Oh, I'm leaving. Whoa, you. you've lost your responsibility of looking after the <laughs> shit jar. That's what you get. Anyway, onto the prank call, and I need to wash my hands. Today's prank call. Forget what was it. I can't believe that had to go through cost customs. <laughs> I can't so, believe it got through. I can't you believe think someone it would be at like- customs? I don't think that they thought that they'd be shit. They probably like, there's no way someone's going to put <laughs> shit and corn in a bottle. Yeah. Maybe they're watching us now. They're like, what's wrong they with this? They got shit cunts? and corn in a bottle. Maybe they think we're collecting fertilizer so we can make a bomb. Got to rub it the right way. Yeah, now and we're on watch list. Fart jar legit smells like fart. I really want to know how they got the stuff in there. Oh, dude, that was. <laughs> That was so bad. I forgot about that. How did that. they do it? Just picture it in your mind. It was, they shovel up their ass and shovel up their ass. Oh my God. Shovel up, shovel up their ass. Shovel up their ass. Okay, that's enough. Let's it's a beaker. On. Anyway, prank call. What are we going to do for the prank call? You um, ready? Bront. All right. Look, that's great. So Margaret has just moved from Adelaide and she's after a um, yeah, high school yeah, yeah. <laughs> for her son. And she won't um, accept anything but the best. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, stop it, darling. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go. Um. <laughs> this is Matt Brown actually playing. Good <laughs> speaking. Hello. Uh, my name's Margaret. Um, we've just moved to uh, Brisbane recently, and I'm just sort of um, calling all the high schools in the area. Just sort of wondering if I could um, come in with my um, teenage son and uh, sort of get a uh, maybe a tour around the school and maybe have a chat to their um, year-level teacher and uh, potentially enrol him for um, maybe term four or um, potentially next year as well. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so um, it all depends on where you live as, right, yeah. as to if you're in a catchment area or not. Right, yeah. Um, and uh, we don't have any tours available until next Friday right, morning okay. oh, that's at 9 o'clock. Yeah, that's quite a shame. Um, well, uh, am, am, am I uh, and my son um, allowed to just come in um, and have a tour um, just ourselves after hours or is that something... No, you're, you're not. not. No. No, okay. no that's frowned yeah. upon. No, yeah. right, that's frowned upon. Are you no up worries. here for a week or...? Uh, no, look, we're, we're here on a semi, semi-permanent basis now, so I'm not sure how long we'll be here. We just sort of have to... It uh, depends on my um, partner's work arrangements um, but right. look where um, yeah potentially for a few weeks we should be uh, staying in Brisbane <laughs> so um, yeah for the next few weeks at least all right so um, so we have a tour next Friday morning at nine o'clock right, okay, interested great. in coming along to that yeah, that's great is there a certain uh, year level that um, uh, he needs to be in for that or is that just all ages welcome is it 
that's it. Everyone that's looking at the school, yeah. Okay, great. Yeah, no, that's great yeah. to hear. Yeah, what year level are you looking at? So he'll be year nine um, this year. So it'll be year ten for next year. Yeah. All right. And what school is he coming from? Uh, so Adelaide State High, just in the city oh, okay, of Adelaide. Then. Yeah, quite a long way. So, and it's been um, quite of a fast move. So we haven't really had much time to prepare. All right, then. That's okay. Yeah. All right, yeah. So just give us a call next week. Um, and if you'd like to come along on the tour, and we'll book you in for it. Okay, great. Just just before you, um, I let you go, um, he uh, has a few uh, learning difficulties. Do you guys um, cater for any kind of uh, learning difficulties at all? Or Yes, we do, yes. Okay, great. So, um, do you know do you know where you'll be living up here at all? Yeah, so we're looking at um around somewhere around the Aspley region in North Brisbane, and we can sort of see nearly from um the end of our street. Oh, okay then. All right, yeah, yeah. So just if you're here next week, just give us a call and um. You, yeah, we can show you, you around next Friday morning. Sorry, do you know roughly um how many children will be in his year level? Over two hundred. Over two hundred. Okay, and that's yes. split split off into how many students? Twenty five in each class. Okay. Okay. Great. Yeah. Let me just write that down. Okay. Great. Well, um, look, we'll we'll pop by. Um, what did, was it? And uh, next Friday was it at nine a.m. Nine a.m. at Quagsley. Where do we meet you? Yeah, so Friday morning at nine o'clock. I'll just come to the administration office with my son. Yep, that's fine. Yep, okay. so yep. Okay. If you okay. want to come, no worries. All right. Well, I look forward to seeing you. And we'll see you next Friday. Okay. No worries. Thank Th- you. Thanks, darling. Have a great weekend. Bye. Bye. <laughs> oh my god. She thinks that that's real. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. Oh, oh. holy we, shit. I, I should go as dress as a woman with you. And we'll get you real high before you go. <laughs> <laughs> we'll go there and we'll do the tour and I'll scream like that as we walk around the school. Yeah. <sighs> oh man, Bront man, Bront. I can't believe she just is kept okay going. With that. Doesn't mention that. Mm. Surely she put a little note next to that going. <laughs> Maybe bring security well, maybe for this. She one. thinks the learning difficulties must run in the family or something. Oh man, that was <laughs> fucking. That was ring, ring, ring. Whoa. Oh man, that really hurt my throat. Yeah, that sounded like pain. <clears throat> I nearly fucking cracked up, man. Mm. I felt <laughs> Same, the chair go. I had to stand one. up because I was I was laughing so much. I felt the chair going, so I just stood up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, sorry for the... We are not ourselves this episode. We're a little low energy, so excuse the low energy of this episode. We get a final 10 episode. They're going to be fucking bangers. Can't oh, get ready. On, there's only 10 left. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video and fucking write a comment. It's good for your bank account. And we're the fucking best. We're the best. We're the... Motherfucking best. best. We're the... Best. best. What? Best. Oh. Best. <laughs>